this is a case study of a patient age 70 years with the only complaint of a backache for quite some years. The kidney measures 6.9 cm in length, 3.2 cm in anterior posterior diameter. When I move the probe, downwards, I see a cystic area with the low, at the lower pole of the kidney. Here you see, it's, the pyramids are prominent. Now on, at the, at the upper pole, we see we come across another uh, mass or cyst that uh, we have to see whether it relates to the kidney or to the uh, is, it, is intraperitoneal or retroperitoneal will be the first question because uh, as you can see that uh, it becomes difficult at times to see whether this is an uh, intraperitoneal solid mass. Now this is the mass which I am hypopoic focally and solid focally measuring 3.8 into 2.6 centimeters. Now what is this? Is this relating to the kidney? Or uh, is it uh, intraperitoneal? Because maneuvering, it is at a location where it's difficult to differentiate by a big until and unless you know one thing, that is that in all retroperitoneal masses, the uh, peridineal fat will be raised anteriorly as you can see and it relates to the upper pole the peri uh, peritoneal fat line is displaced anteriorly whereas if it had been a liver mass or an intraperitoneal uh, focal mass then the, uh, uh, the uh, intraperitoneal line would have been displaced downwards so as we see it being raised anteriorly, the intraperitoneal line number one is being raised anteriorly and it is sharing the capsule of the kidney. As you can see, this is the capsule of the kidney. Here it is making a kink with the upper pole of the kidney. So, this area of study is number one well demarcated, number two is hypopoico, number three. No calcifications are seen with the nip and it is solid wire. Now you see, if you see this area, this area, now this is cystic, fluid filled, clear internally, and you can see the main differentiating point that it shows uh, posterior wall acoustic enhancement or strong black wall as we may call it. And in this case, you will not, we are not seeing the posterior wall acoustic enhancement and the posterior wall of the uh, of this uh, focal mass can be seen clearly. These are the pyramids, these tiny cystic areas, they are prominent and uh, thus this case, uh, now this is a simple cyst relating to the upper, lower pole of the right kidney and this is a solid uh, mass that is uh, hypopoic and relates to the upper pole of the of the right kidney because 
of the elevation of the retroperitoneal fat line uh, and the shearing of this. Otherwise, one other aspect is that it is said that the hip moves with the kidney. It will be another uh, differentiating point. So, if you see, if we concentrate only on the on this region, situated at this region, then and now you can see this line is being elevated, the retroperitoneal fat line and uh, it is separate from the it does not relate to the liver. This is the transfer section of the kidney. This is the focalian. This one, no posterior wall acoustic enhancement. The transfer section. And, uh, now here you can see both together the cyst as well as the solid area. This is the simple cyst, this is the middle part of the kidney, this is the upper pole, whereas the rest of the liver is seen normal. Second differentiating point will be that, uh, well this is the uh, pleural effusion, fluid in the, above the diaphragm, and uh, this is pleural effusion on the right side, you see that, you uh, just see where the IVC and try to bring the IVC in view and you will see that this area will be below the IVC, posterior to the IVC. Here we are. Now this is the IVC and this is the IVC in longitudinal section and this is the focal lane. So it's posterior to the IVC which again uh, is suggestive of the fact that this is a retroperitoneal focal lane relating to the upper pole of the kidney. What is this structure? This is the right renal vein. This is IVC, right renal vein and this is the air. And uh, this then we will trace this is a patent vessel. From here, it's centering the kidney. Pleural situation. So, can this uh, be an abscess or uh, relating to the lobar nephronia, relating to the upper pole of the right kidney? or is it an adrenal pathology? So I am going to confine myself to the differentials only. Thank you.